Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to talk about the Windows function in Click. So, uh, uh, Windows function is essentially uh, aggregating or group by function uh, shortcut uh, that is available in Click. Um, uh, if you need to be on the cloud for now, I think that it's going to be released in 2023 November. Um, it will be available on the Windows one. Uh, for now, it's available on the ClickSense at the time uh, in ClickSense Cloud. Okay, so uh, let's just see what it is, uh, what exactly it does. Uh, so I have this um, simple table. I'm going to reload this particular data. Okay, here you go. And uh, essentially, sometimes it happens that we want to aggregate the data by order number. Uh, for some, for example, I want to know the order size. So I am going to reload this particular data, uh, load order um, by group by load order, sum of sales. And also, I want to categorize customer by year and by their sales size. Uh, for on a yearly basis so i say that sum of sales is greater less than then i have to do that so previously if we have to do that we have to use the group by and aggregation and then we uh, we also have to use a separate reload we cannot do that in a single reload okay so let's just do that and let's see what happens in here so we got these uh, three tables essentially and if i go to the front end side uh, I'm just going to ignore this for a moment. So let's just say um, that I'm just going to create a simple table here and new columns order. We're going to go for customer name and then we're going to go for their customer size here okay so and then year as well which year we are talking about so in this year it was small um you can see that you know this particular one um uh, it was small small and then became retail it became even smaller okay and if i see total sales uh, let's just add some of sales here in this one and as a year sum of sales so here I go now I can see that you know uh, why it is in that particular category okay so uh, you uh, we have this and this is a nice little script but uh, we need to reload that again there is an alternate approach recently introduced by click so I'm gonna go to that I'm gonna comment this go a piece of code and I'm gonna come over this particular function. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write this function um, first. So what we do is uh, we have to pre do that by precedent load. So the precedent load means that it has to be loaded like you know we can resident load but in this case we're gonna do that uh, precedent load. Um, that is the documentation as far um, and what I'm gonna do is then I'm gonna use window function. So it just say the window function I have to do the input expression which is sales and then i have to say that which by how which order i want to group by so it's if you have used aggregate function on the front end it this is very much similar to that and uh, this is expression and this is uh, aggregation scope so i say that this is order size and then i say window sum so this is window function is aggregate function but in the script um, the one nice thing about that is let, let's just uh, write here first so let's say sum of sales here uh, sales and then let's add customer ID and the order ID in here I'm not going to as customer size for now okay let's do that for now and that's it so it means that it's going to uh, use the preceding load okay so um, just let's reload the data uh, 
and if I go in here you see you can see that you know uh, total sales and these sales are very, you know, like equal so uh, I haven't used the else clause but now um, but uh, you can see that it is exactly um, as per the previous one okay so the difference uh, from in this one and this one we have to use two um, load functions and um, like two additional uh, loads uh, in this one in a single load we can do that uh, and uh, if you see the group by is different so that's uh, uh, in this one due to the difference in the group by we have to do that twice but in this case it's a single one uh, in the single we can do that uh, so many a times you want to you know aggregate you know, because you want to take divide you wouldn't want to divide it you want to total uh, for different reasons uh, in this case we want okay we want to categorize the customers uh, on yearly basis so uh, in this case for example this is this this particular case so we have that in here okay so let's just okay so this is a nice little function uh, which uh, helps to you know um, manage our code and i really like this function because uh, many times when you are trying to you know try to calculate the percentage or the certain value and divide uh, we need we do that uh, a lot more time um, uh, reloading or you know this and then maintenance becomes a problem a challenge uh, in itself so this is a very nice function and it's very easy for now I haven't seen any difference in I am loading 10,000 records so in terms of performance I haven't seen any issue or difference between them but I suppose since it's a function so it's going to be a lot faster uh, as compared to uh, using um, the script where we are using you know this alternate approach so um, thank you very much for watching uh, stay tuned for the next videos thank you